Hello, White Phelps. It is Wednesday, April 15th, and it is tax day. Did mom and dad remember to get their taxes in? I hope they did. If they didn't, tell them to go to their taxes right now. Tell mom and dad to do their taxes right now. Just kidding. Take a deep breath. Tax day has been postponed. If mom and dad, if you're watching, it's okay. Go like this. Sorry to get your heart rate racing. Had to have a little fun with you today. Okay. Anyway, time to get started with our training. Remember, white belts, to always warm yourselves up before we get started. Our white belt uh, warm-ups or our warm-ups are posted on a YouTube video. You have to just keep referring back to it every class, okay? Get your warm-ups done and let's drill. Remember to pause the video during drilling so you can get your reps in and any rest you might need to, right? Okay, so Senpai Bailey and I are ready to take you through your class. Ready? Defense stand, Senpai. So we're going to start today with white belt fighting combination number one. Tell them what it is, Senpai Bailey. I don't know. Front punch and... Back punch. Good guess, Senpai Bailey. Man, got to be thinking out there, guys. Did I make any of you guys freeze like that? Just kidding. <laughs> All right, ready? Front punch, back punch with a yeah. key eye. Again, front punch... Back punch with a key eye. Make sure you're hitting with the first two knuckles. Ready? Go. Key eye. Go. Key eye. Go. Key eye. Go. Key eye. Don't allow your body to turn your head. Keep your eyes locked on target. Go. Key eye. Go. Key eye. Switch your stance. I want you to do 30 on that side before you switch over. Okay? So pause this so you can get that done. And now that you're back, let's do the other side. Ready? Go. Key eye. Go. Kia, go, Kia, go, Kia. Okay, 30 reps of that one two punch, also known as white belt fighting combination number one, on both sides. So now we're gonna do our back leg front kicks. So last couple days we've been doing the front leg. Today we're doing the back leg. What part of the foot do they kick with the back leg? The ball. The ball of the foot. Okay, from our defensive stance right here. Back leg front kick, kicking to the front, hitting with the ball of the foot. Toes are pulled back so we don't break our toes. Twist the hips, knee comes up, kick out, back in, down. Ready, go, kia, go, kia, go, kia. Notice we're not dropping our hands. Keep our hands up here. We're going to protect these cheeks, not these cheeks. Ready, go, kia, go, kia, go, kia. 20 reps on this side. 20 reps on this side. Twist your hips. Knee up. Kick out. Back and down. Ready? Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. All right. 20 reps on both sides. Pause the video and come back. All right. Good job. Welcome back. So now we're going to put that all together. We're going to do our one two punch. We're going to add our back leg front kick. And this is going to make white belt fighting combination number three. Are you sure, Senpai? All right, good. Just check it. All right, so from here, front punch, back punch, back leg front kick. Now I want to show you a little something here. When we do a back punch, we pivot. When we do a back leg front kick, we start with a pivot. Hmm. What we don't want to do is be a robot. We're not going to front punch, back punch, unpivot, repivot, and kick. The whole idea behind our fighting combinations is to learn what techniques flow well into each other. So we're going to flow with this combination. Front punch, back punch, back leg front kick. Again, front punch, back punch, back leg front kick. Ready? Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Very good. Let's do 20 on this side. 20 on this side. Front punch. Back punch, back leg front kick. Ki eye, go. Ki eye, go. Ki eye, go. Ki eye. Twenty on both sides. Now, pause the video and get your reps in. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do those kicks, those combinations on a target. So if I fail, you need a defensive stance, please. One, two, back leg front kick. Go. Go, go, very good, give me a hit just like that. Oh, I don't hear you clapping, let me hear it. Man, they're not clapping very loud, go. All right, 20 reps with a target, both your right and your left, fighting combination number three. three. All right, guys, 
Matt chat for today, also known as our keywords. Self-respect. Self-respect, to have confidence in yourself. To have confidence that you act in a prideful manner. To know that you do things with pride. To do something with pride means to do it in a manner in which you can be proud of. To do something in a manner in which you can be proud of means you're using honor. You're using integrity. You're using a good moral compass to help you guide you into making good decisions. Wow. We don't always make the best decisions. We sometimes sneak an extra cookie out of the cookie jar. We sometimes take a chocolate covered pretzel without asking. We sometimes pinch our little brother or sister when we shouldn't be. And if we're thinking about that and we're sitting here going, oh my goodness, that means I'm not using self-respect. I'm not acting with honor and integrity. Don't worry, it's okay. Take a deep breath. We all make mistakes. And if God can forgive us, then we need to be able to forgive ourselves. As long as we take a moment and make a conscious decision to start making better choices, to start acting with more pride, to start having more confidence that we're carrying ourselves with pride, to start acting with more honor, with integrity, in a manner in which we can be proud of, using a better moral compass to help us make better decisions. Once you have self-respect, once you respect yourself, others will respect you too, and you will learn how to respect others even as a martial artist, this is something we strive for, is to be able to have a high level of self-respect. Keep up the good work, guys. So now, we're gonna be working, we're gonna review some grappling positions that we worked on the last couple days. So you should have taken class Monday and Tuesday already, and these will be a review for you. So, the, so what we're gonna do, we need to clear some space on the floor, we're not doing moves, we're learning positions, learning how to and how not to be in position. For example, send by Bailey Land your stomach, please. <laughs> All right. So in this position right here, okay, I am behind sent by Bailey. I have his back. Now Bailey laid down and he put his arms like this, like a T-Rex. That's important because he doesn't want his arms out there where, where a bad guy can attack his arms. Okay? So he's got his arms in here in a T-Rex position. I have his back. This is called dead man's position. Who's in control of the fight right now, Senpai Bailey? Top. Top is, right. Now, next position, I let Senpai Bailey flip over on his back. He keeps his arm in a T-Rex position. Now, I'm gonna put my hands down here. I'm in what we call the mount. In the mount position, again, I'm in control of the fight. I can hit Bailey, I can choke Bailey. I can, I can pretty much win with ease at this position here. So I'm in control of the fight. Top is in control of the fight. The last position we did on Monday was the guard. Come here. So I wrap my legs around Bailey's waist and I pull him in with my arms and I wrap up tight. So my Bailey's gonna sit back. He's gonna put his hands on my hips. He's gonna posture up. Now in this position right here, the bottom person's in control. I can use my legs to pull some by Bailey in and hit him or choke him. If he wants to hit me, I can use my hips to extend and keep him away. So I'm controlling the fight at this point. So the bottom's in control. Now we're gonna switch. So by Bailey's gonna demonstrate. First position here, dead man's position. Top is in control. Sitting right on my belt. Now he lets me flip over. Remember my position with my hands, T-Rex position. Now he's gonna sit on my belt. Put his hands down on the floor above my shoulders. This is called the mount, okay? Top is in control. Next position is called the guard. Remember with the guard, we're gonna turn sideways so you guys can see. Then my Bailey's gonna use his arms to pull me in. I'm gonna wrap his legs high and tight around my waist, not around my butt. And then I'm gonna pull my knees in. I'm gonna posture up in this position right here. Guard, bottom's in control. Okay, do that back and forth a couple times. Now we're gonna introduce one new position to you. This position, if you like your wrist, okay, it's called the side mount. Stay here. Okay. 
In the side now. Lay on your back, please. Okay, in the side mount position here. I'm on Senpai Bailey's side. I'm gonna spread my knees as wide as I can get them. I want one really close to his ear and one really close to his hip. This is your chest, right here. This is your tummy, this is your chest. I wanna to touch my chest to Senpai's chest right there. Before I do that though, I'm gonna slip this hand behind his head. Not over his head, but under his head. So I'm gonna reach in here, go under his head. Then I'm gonna reach under this arm. I'm gonna hold hands. Now I'm gonna bring my chest down to his chest. That's called the side mount position or side control position. That top person is in control again. Again, knees are spread wide. I fish under his head, not over his head. Under his head, under his arm, chest on chest, just like so. Turn it to the side. Knees are wide, arms under his head, under his arm. Gable grip my hands, chest on chest. So my Bailey's gonna demonstrate the same for you guys. Do it this way. He slides his hand under my head, under my arm, chest on chest, his knees are wide. Okay, come back up. Side mount position. Who's in control, Bailey? Top. All right. Good. You can let me up now, kid. All right. All right, white belts. We gave you guys a lot to think about today. White belt fighting combination number one. Back leg front kicks. White belt fighting combination number three. We talked about self-respect, and we worked on our grappling positions. We added a new position today. Keep up the good work, guys. Keep training hard. Stay the course. Thank you for being Lima Strong. And we'll see you online tomorrow. Oos. Mm -hmm.